Hello everybody, welcome back to Chachi the Plumber. Today, we are replacing a circulator pump. Now a few weeks ago, I replaced the expansion tank and relief valve on the boiler because the relief valve was blowing. And I think I have a video of that coming up soon. But a few days later, the man calls me and says that he has no more hot water. Now how does me replacing the expansion tank and relief valve affect the hot water? In the house when the boiler just creates heat for the house well it boiler? doesn't but a new problem did arise here? because he has an indirect tank not a hot water heater what that means is he has a tank that is fed by the boiler so all that tank does is it stores hot water fed by the boiler and by coincidence a few days later, after fixing the expansion tank and relief valve, the circulator pump going into the indirect tank, which feeds the indirect tank hot water from the boiler, burnt up. Because when I came back to check it out, why the man had no more hot water after I replaced the expansion tank and relief valve, this pump was burning hot. But you know what wasn't burning hot? The pipe right after that circular pump feeding the indirect tank hot water. So that's honestly how I knew 100% that the circulator was bad. Now you see me taking this apart, taking the nuts apart, and I mean it was hard even to hold that pump because that pump was so burnt up, it was burning hot even after it was shut down for a little while. But anyways, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta shut power off to the boiler so there is no more power going through those circulator pumps and when you take the wires off you obviously don't get shocked and the white wire goes to the white wire the yellow wire goes to the black wire that yellow wire could also be a black wire so white to white black to black or yellow now this circulator pump was pumping up and out into the tank not back into the boiler so the arrow is pointing up as you can see and we're going to keep that check valve in so the potable water doesn't get it dirty. Now I've tried doing this job with some channel locks but it just isn't the right way to do it. You really need the two wrenches. Which is 10 sixteenths and 5 eighths of course. Now once you screw that on it's time to connect your power again so take your plate off grab your two wires and like I said white to white yellow to black and you know I always say this I mean it's really basic wiring right here so even a plumber can do it although I do have to give props to the electrician who did the spoiler he did a very very neat job all the zip ties and the arrangement of the wires kudos to him man the plumber too pretty sure we did it port plumbing but that's just what we do we do a neat job we make it look look good and easy to service and now that's good plumbing when it is easy to service I've been on boilers already where it's disastrous it's so tight you can't imagine how you get the job done. Now make sure you get this plate on the right way the first time because you'll get it on and the hole obviously won't match if the hole if the plate's on the wrong way. And you can't imagine how hard it is to get this plate on sometimes. It's just really annoying to have to do it all over again just because of that. And put that cap back on that Taco provides. Just makes it look good. Now we're turning all the valves that we turned off. We're filling the boiler back up before we turn the boiler back on. That's the return into the boiler. And these are the cold water inlet and the other valve is the hot water outlet. Very good. Alright, now we're going to turn the boiler back on get these circulator pumps running get the boiler running 
And just like that, she's burned. Just don't forget to turn that water on. And there she goes. Now obviously when she's running properly, she will not be too hot. That pipe will get hot though. And that's how you know it's working. You can barely touch it now. It's all good. Now the hot water inlet will get hot fairly quickly, but the hot water outlet will take a little while. Just because the tank does have to heat up. So be a little patient. Don't be discouraged when you turn the water back on and I mean, you still feel cold still water. Hot. And even afterwards, when the pump was sitting in the box for a little while, it was right, still starting pretty to heat up hot. A little bit here. Without so having any hot water on. So the outlet here, is finally getting hot and the hot water is finally entering into the sink. So that's all it was. Changing the circulator pump. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.